Rahul, coming to you first. Uh, you know, the Bombay is saying that, you know, he sees Gujarat as a big signal and a mood setter for what's coming up in Karnataka. What did you think of that? I think Mr. Bombay Shiv is trying to encourage his cadres more than anything else because on a broad level, maybe, but Karnataka is going to be a totally different ball game. Remember, 2023 is going to be a virtual Bharat, mini Bharat election, Lok Sabha election, with 10 states going to polls, uh, Shiv. Uh, that includes rule by BJP, that includes rule by Congress. That includes those which were ruled by Congress, but the BJP won them over, including the one which we are talking about. Now, it's a very critical election in which I, let's talk, start talking what the BJP is planning to do, drawing a lesson from Gujarat. First and foremost, Shiv, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Kanadiga are going to see a lot of him. Hmm. Uh, in January, first week, IIT Dharwad uh, inauguration, Prime Minister will be there. Then there is a farmers' convention. Prime Minister will be there. Then your own favorite, the Bangalore Air Show, the Prime Minister will be there. So Karnataka is going to see a lot of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The BJP already realizing that the Lingayats are not very happy hmm. with Yadurappa not in the chief ministership uh, chair. They have started working at that reservation for SCST, hoping that they may, might get make up that vote loss which they are having there. The Hindutva tail is up. The Hindutva element is big way in terms that you have uh, uh, the hijab and other rows. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the BJP is going to really expand it. But there is a bit of a problem for them with uh, Shriram Sene's uh, Pramod Mutalik and Hindu mm. Mahasabha, both which have been very helpful for the BJP in the north and coastal Karnataka, not going with the BJP and they're very angry right now. So the BJP has to throw a Narendra Modi as the Hindu Mahas Mahasabha yeah. and Hindu uh, Shriram Sena. For the Congress, Shiv, very critical. One, unlike Himachal, they have warring leaders like Siddharamaya and D.K. Shokumar. The biggest element that the Congress, which I've been picking up since morning, is that the BJP, want, the Congress wants to fight a hyper-local election like yeah. they did in Himachal. Locally, they stand to benefit. Very, very important. You know, can it be a hyper-local election? Uh, you know, Rahul and me were both in Karnataka in 2018 as well, and there was a huge amount of Narendra Modi in that election as well. Rajdeep was also there with us, Rahul. Rajdeep is with us. Rajdeep, decks cleared for Karnataka's big state of war. What will you be looking out this time for the BJP and the Congress in this upcoming battle? Well, thanks very much, Shiv. Yes, Karnataka is the big battleground state in April, May. Before that, February, March, three northeast states, uh, Nagaland, Meghalaya, and Tripura also going to the yes. polls. But yes, for the BJP in particular, Karnataka is a big challenge. And likewise, for the Congress, I think it presents a huge opportunity. Uh, remember, the BJP has never got a majority on its own in Karnataka. Its best ever performance was 110 seats in 2008 when Mr. Yadirappa was at the peak of his popularity. So it's not been a traditional BJP state and overcoming the caste barrier yeah. uh, being seen still as a Lingayat dominated party will be a huge challenge for the BJP into this election and most crucially anti-incumbency. The fact is five years uh, uh, of anti-incumbency or at least the last three and a half years the BJP has faced a, a series of uh, crises, uh, serious charges of corruption and overcoming that for a Bomai government with Mr. Basavraj Bomai still finding his feet uh, in that government will be a, a, a big challenge, I believe, for the BJP, especially mm. as I said, the caste factor. Uh, on the other hand, for the Congress, if they can get their act together as they did in Himachal, overcome the faction fights between the Siddharamaya group, uh, the uh, DK Shiv Kumar group and dare I say the Malikarjun Karge group, if they can recapture their original caste base in Karnataka and play on anti-incumbency and work as a unit, they have a huge opportunity. Remember the Congress in Karnataka is one of the few states where it's not short of resources. Many of their yeah. netas are incredibly resource rich. Uh, and before the uh, general elections of 2024, the Congress will be desperate uh, to win a state like Karnataka. So they have some kind Absolutely. of a war chest, if I may use the word, going into the winter elections of 2023 and then the general elections of 24. The other X factor, of course, is the JDS, uh, Shiv, because uh, Kumaraswamy and Deva Gowda, 
uh, have been wooed, we are told, by the BJP in the last few months, but they want to fight this election on their own. Typically, will aim for 25 to 30 seats and hope once again, like 2018, it's a hung assembly where they can call the shots. So the JDS factor will also have to be looked at carefully. But I would say net-net, uh, this is an election for the Congress to, uh, to gain yeah. and for the BJP to fight uh, really hard uh, to retain power in Karnataka.